Cinema 5D at IBC 2017 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. Manfrotto, imagine more. Zeiss, turning imagination into a motion picture. Fujinon, ultimate optical performance. And Olympus OMD, revolutionary in every way. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and I'm here with Ted from Aperture. How are you? How are you doing? Doing good. Um, so, actually, you know, from, for, for me personally, yeah. Aperture is really specialized in either very nice big lights, yes. I mean very strong ones, yes. and now you're introducing more uh, um, mobile small lights, but yeah. you actually want to show us something that uh, has never been shown before, yes. and it's completely new but not in the market yet. Yes. What is it? So we're actually not even showing this to regular people walking around at the trade show. We're just showing this to people that, you know, are friends. <laughs> Basically, this right here is the new Aperture Amaran MX. And a lot of the feedback that we got about the old Aperture light, they like it, it's a very popular light. But they said, we want one that's super durable, very tough, that I can throw around, that I can play hockey with. I want one that's very bright. And I want one that has a built-in thread and bicolor. Obviously, this is very hard to do in something that's the size of a credit card, but we did our best, and what we're showing today is just a prototype. It's not a product release. If it was a product release, I'd be showing it to everyone. However, we don't have a date, we don't have a price yet, but right here, the Aperture MX, it's about the same size as the Aperture Amaran M9. It's about twice as thick, but with aircraft-grade aluminum and a brass coating on the outside. And with the built-in battery, it really saves so much time, too, because now you could essentially pack 12 of these into like a small Pelican case, and you could do your accent lighting, architecture lighting, you could do your eye light. If you put this on your camera, this will give you eight and a half hours on minimum battery, and on maximum power, you get one hour. This is also bicolor, so watch, I'm gonna turn this on now, and it's got, of course, the snap-in diffusion that goes right onto the front here. I'm gonna snap that on when I power this on. We can check it out. So it is very, very bright. Bicolor mode, which means I can go right here and change from 2300 to 6800, so it's an expanded bicolor range in case you are in a shady environment or you're in a very, you know, kind of Edison bulb, warm tungsten environment. And in addition to that, for even more brightness, let me just say, five times brighter than the Aperture M9. The M9 is a very bright light that had nine LEDs in it. I'm not even going to count. Well, maybe I will actually, it's, 2000, it's 286 LEDs packed into here. And when I put this in together, of course, it's got those SMD bulbs, 120 degree beam angle. I'll snap this on. Booster mode will give you an additional 30 to 40% brightness for 60 seconds. Bang, 60 seconds of additional brightness. Very, very bright. And I can turn it off and it'll go back to normal. You said actually there is no um, price yet. Yes. Guess. Estimation. I Estimation. guess. Just that we know the ballpark. Okay. If I had to give a price, um, we're not set yet, but it'll most likely be about maybe 125 to 150. So it's still an extremely affordable. And of course, we're talking about high color quality here. Uh, you know, our lead product manager comes from Fuji and Kodak. Uh, they needed all the color science there. Because we take this very, very seriously. A lot of times we get questions for, why don't you make bigger, brighter lights aperture? If the color isn't there, we're not interested. So the color here is 97 TLCI and CRI ratings. Uh, we do not kid or joke around about this ever. This is something that's important to us. Yeah. Ted, thank you very much for sharing the information. For sure. This kind of uh, secret information. For sure. <laughs> And thank you very much for watching.